So, is there anyone who already reads or is starting to read or has had read Lenormand cards? I'm trying. Blake with this, but I have to read the book. <laughs> Since we're Southern and American, we're going to say Lenormand in this class. Lenormand. Is, is, instead of Lenormand. French. <laughs> <laughs> I did too. I, can, I can't speak it, but I can read a newspaper. <laughs> Does anyone know how the cards actually started? I know that like some German stuff appropriated <laughs> Lenormand's name for it. Are we going back past? We're going or to the Holy It no beyond that. Before okay, okay. Yeah, it was actually called the Game of Hope, where it was laid out almost like Monopoly, um, where <laughs> they just laid out the cards and people would use figures or something to to move from one card to the other. Some cards were considered bad omens, some were considered good omens, <clears throat> and later on they refined the game. It, when you landed on this, it meant that. When you landed on that, it meant this. And as the, they kept going, each card they realized were um, had deeper associations and began to tell stories with them. Like, of course, the heart meaning love things like that. So if you landed on this, it, it, it became divinatory. Um, they were also not called Lenormand cards at that time. Marie Lenormand, or Marie, Le, Marie Adele Lenormand, was um, um, French. She, um, at a young age, um, became an orphan and went to live in a convent. And the, the sisters actually began to realize that she had psychic ability. Uh, later on, when she was older, she left the convent, um, became a seamstress, and then later on a card reader. Um, it is said that she read for Napoleon and Josephine, mainly Josephine. And um, the cards she used were not these. They're based on cards called Sibylla cards. And then later on, because she became the most famous fortune teller, she got arrested a lot of times. Um, <laughs> How dare you tell people what they want to do? When they decided to turn that game of hope into a deck, they're like, we'll name it after her. Of course, back then, you know, they had to pay royalties, residuals, anything like that. So that's how they actually got their name. So they went from a game to a little bit of divination, and by the time um, someone else started marketing them, they, were, they weren't hers, and she never used them. <laughs> so we're going to go through each one quickly. I, When I teach the class, I always use the traditional cards, because other ones can have different imagery. I like to learn what the traditional one looks like, what it means. Um, and we're just going to do a guessing game because I'm just going to ask all of you what you think it means. So, the, the writer. A message. Message is incoming. Something coming into your life, riding into your life. It can be a message. It can also be a person. Um, an offer. Say it again. Maybe an offer of some kind. Yeah, it's just something that is moving something into your life. Bad. What? You would have to see what cards showed up around it to figure out what's coming. Right. Because so like a letter the, would tell you that a message is coming, whereas a person might tell you a person is coming. Right, because they are read in pairs. That's how 36 one. cards becomes yes. double that, like you find in Tarot, because you read the one beside it and meld them together. Clover is obvious. It's luck. A ship is movement or travel. And you'll find other meanings with these two. They'll go a little bit deeper than that, but they're pretty surface. Um, there was once um, someone was in the store explaining, and I'm not going to contradict the customer, but I do tell I do tell to, yeah I do tell the story um, <laughs> where she was showing someone uh, the pagan Lenormand deck, which it's an okay deck. There's one card in it I don't like. It was, um, what, what card is that? I call it the ham sandwich card. It's the mice card. That was it. <laughs> because it's got it's got a ham sandwich, a Coke, and a bag of chips. I'm like, 
Let's get a little classier with our, <laughs> <laughs> with our food selections if you're going to do artwork. I don't think um, my cards just make money to work one. <laughs> <laughs> but she was showing someone, I think it was the Crossroads card, and she told her, you see that tree in the distance? That tree with this amount of leaves on it means this. I'm thinking, no. No, no it doesn't. Mm -hmm. That tree means absolutely nothing except an artist put that tree there. <laughs> the, see, I had someone doing that to me when I was, they, they, I was like, this is a new deck to me. I was using your deck. I was like, here, blah, blah, blah. And the sun card came out. And I was like, well, this is. And they're like, well, also, sunflowers mean. I'm like, no. But really, sunflowers mean. No. Yeah. yeah. No, they wouldn't stop. And I'm like, that's not what this is. Yeah. They're just there because it's pretty, and they grow in the sun. Right. It's it's <laughs> not. It works. It that works for tarot, not for the. They're, yeah, they're they're not multi layered like That's tarot. That's one of the Mormon calls to me that have been tarot because tarot like. I knew how to read them in two weeks. What? Tarot took See, I'm eight a years. Bit. Yeah. Yeah. But I get confused about what the way I'm like. But the house is a house. Your sanctuary. Your home. Tree, ancestry, putting down roots, things like that. Clouds, third, clouds have a silver lining or dark clouds rolling in. Sometimes it can be confusion. Um, look at both sides of a story, things like that. So there's light clouds and there's dark clouds. Snake is deception. It can be sometimes the other woman. Which is still an aspect of deception. The coffin, it does not mean death, it means the end of something. Bouquet is just like a little gift. You haven't given someone a car, you've given them a bouquet of flowers. Scythe is it's time to cut something out of your life. Get rid of it. Harvest, reap it. Whip and broom. I mean, literally, it's time to whip things into shape and clean up your act. The birds is just communication. Chattering birds. The child is nostalgia or looking at things like a child. Now, this card is very much like the tarot card that shows a child. The fox. I call this stepping in a pile of crap card. <laughs> Because, you know, he's over there eating a bird, you're walking along, you step down, all of a sudden, you're in a big mess. So it is, it's confusion and um, chaos and also a deception card. Someone who's sneaky. The bear, do you think it means danger? I think it's more like, it's, it's protection, but also possessiveness. Yeah, it's like motherly. So like the mama bear. Or, or protective. The stars is having lots of different options. Now I did, I'll stop in here, in the, I did a video very much like this on YouTube. It has the most comments out of all of our videos. Because people are, because it's called a quick primer to Lenormand. <laughs> They're much more, there's much more than this. This person doesn't know what they're talking about. Read the title. It's, it's called quick. a quick primer. <laughs> if you want that, you go to something like this. Right. Ride the big, adjective, ride so. the big thick book, not a quick primer that lasts 10 minutes. Right. The uh, stork. Most people think, oh, I'm going to have a baby. It just means bringing messages. Message. Messenger. The dog. Man's best friend. It's your friend. Something to do with a friend. The tower card is quite different than it is in Tarot. In, in Tarot, it means everyone's jumping out of windows. The stock market has crashed. Um, there's shit everywhere. This means a corporation, a college, a, an institute, some... It's not just a regular house. The garden, parties, being with friends. It's it's a it signifies a garden party. Social. 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 Socializing. A mountain. It's a black. Is. 
having obstacles. You have a mountain to climb. Obstacle. This one's so obvious. The crossroads. I can't decide what that means. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know which way to turn. <laughs> which way this card means. The mice is they're literally getting into your cabinets eating your food taking something away from you it's something is, is eroding or being taken away from you the heart is love and emotions the ring people think i'm gonna get engaged it's really more about commitment committing right. to something which could be an engagement depending on what card is beside it but most of the time it's about committing to something. The book, you've got more to learn. It's just learning. I mean, it could be going to, going back to school or you don't know as much as you think you do. The letter is a form of communication. It can These days it can be an email, a letter, a postcard, a flyer, but it's something you can print out an email. It's usually something that was on paper, some sort of communication that came paper, paper-wise. Okay, the man and the woman. It just means the men and the women in the reading. It's just a signifier card. People. The lily. People have different opinions on what this one means. <clears throat> um, because lilies are often found in at funerals. Mm -hmm. But it's really about retirement. Looking towards the future. Planning for the future. And some people say it's actually a sexual card. I've had people say that about the whip, too. And I'm just like... <laughs> I don't think that's what that the whip means, but I think I think that I think that is. Some, I've just seen people doing that for the lily and for the whip. I and think I'm like, I think some people are imposing their own their own stuff in on that one. The sun is happiness, bright future, just everything sunny. The moon, it's more about things you don't see. It's about you having to use your intuition to get to. The answers that you seek. This one. It's right. a key. Which means you're going to get the tool you need to unlock something. It's literally the key to something. The key to this is look at the next card. Yeah. Look at the look at the card beside. The key to your problem is look at the next card. <laughs> the fish. This one, a lot of people, it's confusing. Think Christianity. It's abundance. Abundance. Money. Um, bringing a bunch of fish to the wedding. <laughs> I had to do fish. The anchor. It's being very grounded. Not very movable. But also it's safe. It holds you in a safe harbor. Depending on, yeah, depending on your question. And this one is also a very Christian symbol. It's sacrifice. The cross. So when you put them together, it's just let's say uh, bear and mice. We're going to meld them together. Now bear means nurturing. It can be motherly. Me looking out for someone. The mice is about eroding something or something being taken away from you. The first p image that comes to mind is that your mother-in-law has moved in. <laughs> I was thinking toxic mother. <laughs> or toxic, a toxic mother that just you know, <laughs> nagging, 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 nagging. Okay, yeah, the mice is like an adjective for the bear. Right, because you yeah. can create sentences. But you can also, let's pick another one, I won't look. I was just also thinking like a, like the mice, basically, if you've been overprotected with something, they're eating away of what you're trying to protect. Yeah, and the stork is next. So and then we meld the stork with the mice. In the incoming mother-in-law. <laughs> oh, God. oh no! Or time to tell her to leave. 
give her a message to get her my note. <laughs> <laughs> Is there an eviction card in there? <laughs> <laughs> a key card. Oh, the, yeah, the key. Inside. The key. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, We're taking the key away. It's the key to the. <laughs> it's the key to the nursing home. <laughs> <laughs> Cut her out. Okay, moon and child. Maybe you'll have a new path to go with your intuition. That one is, is hard. That one's about using your tuition, intuition, things you don't know. It can also mean early pregnancy because you don't know it yet. Um, it can mean... A new path to develop your intuitive skills. Or, or, can, or going back to your past and healing something. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking maybe uh, embrace your inner child. Right. Because right yeah. now everything's kind of um, kind of shrouded. You may not be able to see what's coming, but and if you can only see it if you look to the stillness within. Well, yeah. but cloud with the child may also means you could be looking things that are very nice and away, so they're clouded. No, oh, I just added the cloud right beside it. Oh. Mm. I was like, how would you edit beside Wait. it? Wait. He okay. laid that down while you were looking up and saying oh that. <laughs> I don't know why I said cloud instead of moon, but that's interesting. There you go. Yeah, I just laid the cloud down the side. Yeah. <laughs> so you don't need cards. Right. <laughs> right. Uh, <laughs> right. Uh, right. 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 I don't read playing cards. I read about this. I had to research it to write about it. So if you if you read playing cards, you can that can give you extra information. Things like um, the um, on the cross card, there is the six of clubs, which is about burden and sacrifice. I'm just going to show you some of them. The fox card is the nine of clubs, which is about work and skills. The tree, seven of hearts, um, life, health, gradual development. Now that makes sense too because as a tree grows, um, you know, the life of the tree, the health of the tree, there's more leaves, there's more branches growing. So those two kind of meld together well. Um, wow, it says the man card means a male person. <laughs> Garden is eight of. Um, spades, which means public, group, outdoor, which is already what the garden card means. Bouquets, beauty, and pleasure with queen of um, spades. So it's things like that, and the, and the associations are here in the book. So if you learn playing cards, you can actually... And then who is he talking about... Um, the gypsy witch. That was. I have a gift Were from you? my grandmother that I didn't know until a couple years ago that's what it was. Because it was they're based on the Norman yeah. cards. They were like another ripoff. First they ripped off her name, <laughs> and then some company created the uh, gypsy witch fortune telling cards, which ripped off the Norman cards. So yeah, they're all kind of hidden in there. Um, there's also tea leaf reading as symbol associations, hidden within the cards. Like the writer, um, it brings good news overseas and, and financial affairs and things. That's what that symbol means when you see like a man on a horse or something in tea leaf reading. Um, when you see into your tea leaves a ship, it means news from distant lands, uh, a journey, a voyage, and that's what they mean in the Norman cards. I never knew that that does things like that will interpret it. For, for someone made it up at some point, and then everyone decided, well, well we're going to go with that. You know, <laughs> Sounds good. You know, my mother said that, my grandmother said that, the neighbor it's said legit. it too. <laughs> Let's agree that that's what that means. But there's a lot of those associations in here too. The crossroads, if you see lines in a teacup, it means if it's straight, it's progression. If it's wavy, it's an uncertain path. Um, if you see a cross, you expect to uh, be meted, uh, met with um, obstacles or a decision. Which way do you go on a crossroads? Yeah, clubs are pentacles. Oh, yeah. Uh, which are of the earth, um, earth sign. Hearts are cups. 
um, spades or swords, diamonds or wands. Okay, in tarot, pentacles is, here we're dealing with clubs, is money, abundance, um, creating abundance. Um, cups is not just love, it's about emotions. It can be all types of emotions. Um, basing your decisions on emotions. In um, tarot, also swords, associated with spades. Swords are usually, it's an air sign. It, it means thoughts, ideas, um, coming up with new, you know, new ways of doing things, things like that. It, it's more about concepts. Innovation. Yeah, innovation. Um, diamonds um, in playing cards deal with wands and fire. Now there's there's many people who will um, I have an argument with a, with an old friend about it. He's like, wands are not fire. It, in 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 some Wiccan traditions, um, they're like they switch to the signs. They're like, no, 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 it's 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 wands are air because of a wand. Um, to me, uh, wands are fire. Air they're wood. Fire you catch them. You catch them on. You, what do you build a fire with? So you might have to switch those around. But I always tell people if you're going to switch them around, switch them around from the very beginning. And read it that way every single time. Don't go back and forth. And then if you're going to teach a class, make sure you tell people, you have these two options. Don't be, don't be stoic with, you have to do it this way. To the three card spread. If you, we've been, we laid out a few cards, but if you lay it out like a sentence, there can be, the first one can be the topic. And then you have cause and then you have effect. Mm -hmm. So our topic is woman. Sometimes that doesn't help. <laughs> <laughs> and, you, and, you have, and you have to keep add an extra card or something. <clears throat> cause is stars. Lenormand, by the way, have no reverse meaning. If it's in reverse, flip it back over the right way. And then sun. So the topic is woman. The cause is stars. The effect is sun. So I would read this. There is a woman who has a decision to make. She has lots of different options based on the stars. And because so many options, she has so many options open to her, it will lead to a happy ending, a bright future. Did you read it different? No, that's exactly how I read it. Was she has so many? I, I, the words in my head were she has so many good options that it's a problem. She doesn't know which one to no, go, with. go with. So I would need clarification if I were to do it like that. Yeah. So. It's like what? It's which a good problem? Which which option? <laughs> right, right. So then I would go into clarification. This is in your course. You, Does yeah. it help narrow it down? Like in in tarot, what I would normally do with three cards is it's past present future now if you choose to do it that way and this is just one way to do it you can do it that way but like i said if you choose a system that's only yours or a way that's only yours and you like it stick with it instead of mixing it up all the time because if you're getting divine messages it's like well, what do you want me to, what do you want me to tell you today you've got a different system <laughs> Now, if we move on to the five card spread, um, it's a simple layout. It is um, the, the center card is the focus card, the thing you focus on. It is, <coughs> and it gives you a little bit more information. Two cards to the left show what happened. Here we go, like I said, with Tarot. It showed what happened in the past, which will influence the current situation. The two cards to the right explain it's not necessarily the future, it's the best course of action to take. Which can lead to a certain future. Now, you could read it too if you choose to do it this way. Like I said, this is bending the rules. Let's lay out five and I'll tell you what I mean. Lily. 
cross, heart, which is the focus card, crossroads, and house. Now we're going to read it all like we're supposed to in a minute, but if you want to spin it up instead of just saying these two cards are like how to approach something and I don't want to know the final outcome, you can read it this way. These two cards over here is what led you to this situation. It's what brought everything that built up to this. When I read Tarot, here you can borrow something from Tarot, which normally this is different. I use often the Celtic Cross, which, does anyone in here read Tarot? Okay. <laughs> I, I, I sometimes use the cross, but sometimes it's like three because I'm just like, uh, what do I want? Let me just, just, so I can put, just so I can put it in my head, because I'm going to see it laid out, even though I read these every day. Um, yeah, I only use spreads with Lenormand because it helps me determine more. But So this would be the Celtic cross in Tarot, right. which would probably not help you in Lenormand. But I'm going to get to a point about that. It is this center card here. Here we're getting you're getting a tarot class in the middle. Um, <laughs> is where you are right now. What are you, what are you dealing with? This is the only card of the past. What led you up to this? Um, here's where the future begins, and then we go into the future. Um, this is. I read this card, the one above you, is your conscious mind, the thing you know, you're well aware of. The one below it is your subconscious mind. It's like an angel and a devil on the shoulder. Maybe you don't know this, or maybe you're lying to yourself. And then as we move forward, we get to this position is what others think about you, what you think about you, or the situation. The last card is the final outcome but this card is the advice card what what do you need to know before I tell you how this ends or how you can change it so then we move here to back to the five card of Norman spread where we have two of the past the focus card in the center and we're gonna read it differently our own way here where the last one is the final outcome and this one is the advice card Right, because this does look like a, a, a card about here's a relationship. Here's the heart, the focus card. Let, let me pull the snake and, or the mouse. And, and, the, and the house is about probably yeah, like, moving in together. Yeah, because you've got to make a decision on that. And the crossroads is in the center, meaning which way do I go? <laughs> also, yeah, people don't realize that's, a, that's when, why we a reading is, is a conversation. Yeah. A lot of people want to sit there, I'm not going to tell you anything. How psychic are you? <laughs> and that's not what it's about. It's like, I tell people this. I can't this. answer a question unless you give me the question. Right. You have to tell me the, que the question. And, and sometimes I'll tell them, okay, that's enough. I don't need to know everything. Most of the time I tell people, tell me a theme. So I can ask yeah. the cards, tell me about this theme. Are we talking about love? Yeah. Are we talking about your job? Are we talking about moving? If you leave it to the universe, you may get a whole answer about something you did not want them to tell you. <laughs> or people will say, I just want a general reading. And so it goes through all this stuff, and it's all about their job. And, you know, the clock is ticking because they booked a 15-minute reading. And at 14 minutes, it's like, but I wanted to know about this guy. <laughs> what did I ask you when we sat down here? Well, the universe says you need to know about your job. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, universe yeah. Says job. <laughs> so that's why when I first I tell them, I want to tell the cards. Tell me about this theme. You don't have to give me details. Just something to go with. Yeah. What do you want to know about? Something to go with. So there's the five card spread. Now we deal with the cross spread. Um. So this one, I never use this one. So I'm going I'm to refresh my memory with this one. It's similar to what we were talking about with the Celtic Cross because, let me just pull five. Here's the anchor, the child, the snake, the man, kind of, and it's a few of its positions. 
because this is the card of the past, the one to the to the left. Um, I mean, this is like I mean, this is supposed to be the, the, the a lot of people will just put the man or the woman card here and not read it as anything else. It just be it's like a signifier card. If a one you're reading for a woman, you write. Uh, put down a, the woman card and ring for a man, put down the man card, and then all the things around them. If you choose not to do that, you can get extra information by what is this man or woman facing, which is the anchor. They're very, either they're very rigid about something or they're stuck. Um, well, there's some could be by choice, some could be by choice. Um, this is the crown card. What's hanging over the seeker's head, which is similar to what I was talking about in Tarot. That's the thing though, your conscious mind. Um, below is, I think below, is the root of the problem. And then here, over here, we have the future. So the past and the future. What's hanging over them right now, and this is the root of the problem. So it's very similar to the Celtic cross. Dark. Remember, they're connected still. These two are connected. These two are connected. These two are connected. And these two are connected. Like, so let's see, based on that, this is not in the book. People on the YouTube, once you see this, will, will freak out. <laughs> um, and so let's turn this into a Celtic cross and see if we can read it. Okay. Let's do it. It's because it's already in this position. Yeah. It's the basic cross. So all we need to do is add four more. Yep. <laughs> nice. That's, that's great. Solid. Now you come over here and you started this story. Come here. <laughs> okay. So how others see you is the mama bear figure. So you have the advantage because they see you as responsible. Right. You see yourself as always being lucky. So you really got this. What? That's the ancestral roots thing. That's ancestral that, yeah. roots. I think that's a fun thing. You have an advantage. And I was going to say a second ago, with this being the good part of it and this being the bad part of it, the advantage is that he's your father. You have the same last name, so it's going to help you in your court work. Bam, bam, and good outcome. Yeah. <laughs> so, you can, so you can use the Celtic cross in, in Lenormand. <laughs> that was really cool how that played out. It was like rooted ancestors mm -hmm. that you can't see. And you're gonna get a good outcome. Stop keeping yourself from it. Now put them together in <laughs> pairs. Read it in pairs. And what does it mean? Let's just get beyond this part of the cross and go yeah. to the last part. Yeah. So bear with you're clover. Really, you're really good at being the take charge of the situation. Yeah, because I mean you take the energy of luck. Yes. It wouldn't it wouldn't just be your, your motherly you, nature is going to make you lucky or something. You predict that you're going to be, uh, you know, um, successful in whatever you venture out to do. Right. And then we take the clover, which is luck, and mix it with the tree, which is roots and ancestry. Mm -hmm. this, this is, your, your luck this runs deep. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you've, <laughs> you've <laughs> always right. believed in yeah. yourself. You've always <laughs> believed in yourself. So it's it's or you could be the it's you could for you, to go to you could also be the one in the family that the family listens to a little bit more. Maybe you have a little bit more luck with communicating I with the rest of the family. <laughs> this you right. are, so, yeah. Could be the protector in the family who's turning the luck of these family roots, right? Mm -hmm. To get a good outcome. And I have found every time I teach <laughs> this yeah. class, the thing, the cards <laughs> laid out and in, in sample the readings are a reading for someone in the class. That's that's when like, we get to the grand one, it the, still applies to you right. too that you are turning that luck of that family yeah, story. Around. And you're putting your siblings back together, Amanda, all the ones you found yeah. and put back in touch yeah. with each other. I have found many siblings that I did not know I had. Do you do you wow. wanna do you wanna photograph this layout? I actually have to do now. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. you Y'all don't mind. Just you got kinda, it? Yay. Yeah, that's <laughs> wow. So that's how we can turn the Lenormand cross into the Celtic cross right. and still read it. Elaborate on it. <laughs> okay, so the nine card spread, which is usually past, present, future. 
here's a trick which if you just laid out these nine cards you're supposed to be able to know everything you need to know quickly by looking at the first card and the last card mm -hmm. yeah the key to That's abundance. The key to abundance. Yeah. The whole the whole reading is about the key Boom. to abundance. It's a, it's pretty much the same story right there again for abundance. Oh my Past, present, and future. What is going on? With <laughs> right now, some people will read it, and some people can read it like this, which we'll do in the grand. In, especially if you use all the cards for the grand tableau. In the grand tableau, you'll find that the woman. Where does this? Where does the woman card land? Mm -hmm. Here. So this is the only past card, and all the rest of them are future cards. This one, she is pointing that way. Towards you ask future. about something about the design of, of the bear card. Yeah. Almost. But she is pointing this way. So that's what she's looking forward to. She's looking forward to all of this, and that's the only past card. Of course, the DNA does. You can read it that way, or <laughs> traditionally it would be would past, know. present, future. And then if you want more information, you go past, present, future. Yeah, you have to decide how, well, how you're going to read it. If, okay. if, if you get if you get the, because um, you may not even get the man or woman card in it. You have to be, am I going to be the type of reader who, who, if I see that, then that means to me everything in front of them is the future and everything behind them is the past. So it's only so that option is only available when it's the man or the woman's card showing up. Right. Because they're what's called a signifier card. And then can you put you can just put them in the center too, right? You can put them in the center. Yep. Which we can switch it right now. That's what I did. Like a placeholder. A placeholder. I did my first reading with this deck was I put put it in the center. Right, and you can do that with tarot too, as the center card, like in the Celtic cross, you can choose something to signify the person. See, I'm looking at that and I'm seeing a chatty, gossipy woman being a block to the abundance and luck coming in the future. Because you're reading it that way, yeah. right? The key is... It's a language. Mm -hmm. It really is. But the key is the roots. The family beyond this. But there's some sort of paperwork involved. Yeah. There's mm -hmm. some sort of paperwork involved. Key, uh, letter... Is that the letter? Yeah. Yes, letter, mm -hmm. tree... Um, yeah, gossipy, chatty woman is a block. Here comes the luck, though, again. It has, still has something to do with child, which they, like you said, the yeah, other one had the child. Um, and then it, le it still leads to abundance. If you go this way, <clears throat> the past, the, it could be a little bit differently if you read it this way. With the, switching those two cards, yeah. Yeah, when you switch the cards. Yeah, because the key cards. to what what started this whole thing was... What started this whole amount of luck is... Because we have key, birds, um, clover. Someone revealed something in a conversation, or they said something they shouldn't have said, or they discovered something through research or, or conversation or something like that, which led down this path of luck, which led to communication, paperwork, something with this signifier who's a, there was a, either a woman or with a woman. Something about from childhood. Yeah, which led to ancestry. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, a little work getting through it all, but led to abundance. And abundance can mean, doesn't have to mean money, it can mean you found a larger family. family. Uh, you found a larger family. <laughs> you can use a pad or a cloth which lays out the grand tableau, but this is how you do it with two decks of cards. This one is in order. Oh, I see. So we're going to lay them out in order. That makes Four rows of nine.
Okay, so here is all 36 cards laid out in order. Each placement is called a house. So this is the house of the rider, the house of the clover. What you do is you take the center, the center line. Some people read it this way. You can go in order. And some people say everything from back here is the past. Everything here is the um, uh, future. Or some people may read it this way, where if the reading is for a man, here the man and the woman are right beside you. It was for a man. Here's all of his past, and here's his future. When we when we begin to lay it out this way, because the the man and the woman are always going to be here. So let's begin to lay these on top of it. Oh, he has nothing in his past. He's only looking to the future. First layer of the template. As yeah, as what house are we reading? And then you read these in pairs. And usually this reading ends up being someone in here's message. Most of the time. Every time I've taught it, it's happened. Now you can break these up in different ways. Some people may break them up into um, not nine across, and they leave some that are left over, that just a few over down here, which will be called the fate line, which is like extra information, but it's something in your life you cannot change. So maybe maybe you only did it in eight rows, and then you have four left over that you're putting here. So if we go to the other thing we learned, what is this reading about? If we look at the first card and the last card. Is that the heart and the snake? Man, oh, the man. The mouse. The man. The man and the mouse. Or has a lot of anxiety. Or has a lot of loss. Or has a lot of loss. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if it's a woman card and you want to read what this is all her past and this is all her future. You don't have to read it that way. You can just read. What house is the woman laying on? We're going to pull them all together. So the man is in the writer position. There's so you, so there's a man incoming. Okay. There's a man coming. Yeah. We're just going to read them that way. The tower is luck. There's a man coming. There is some sort of, some sort of luck getting into some higher institution or a job or some sort of corporate thing. Yeah. <laughs> there's travel involved, but there's deception. It's like maybe they didn't um, tell you all the tell you all the information. Oh, you're the, yep. <laughs> Do you get to have all the readings? No, no, no it's Erica. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's yours. Okay. <laughs> I actually thought I was like, man, without a past, I have an Amanda who didn't have a past until I got that DNA test. Yeah, some sort of <laughs> some sort of. Bought me the laptop when I got into grad school. So, yeah, some sort of deception involved in the travel. The travel uh, um, is disrupting a household. Because <laughs> it's beside this, which is can be the other woman. The letter falls into the place of ancestry. You've got some sort of communication about some family. Or are you telling her about it? Uh -huh. <laughs> There's a little bit of luck in the clouds. You got some sort of clarity. Mm -hmm. Some sort of clarity came. You were lucky to find out what you found out. The communication mm -hmm. lands in the other woman card. The communication was there was luck about communication about another woman. Mm -hmm. The key to the whole thing was putting an end to this. Mm. <laughs> I told you. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> The sacrifice that was made was giving up the little little gifts, little warm feelings. Yes. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. You were anchored firmly in Sorry. Scythe. 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 Oh, that needs to be cut. Cut it out. Cut the cord. 
so, yeah, yeah, cut it out. So yeah, there's something in anchor that you had to cut out. <clears throat> Broom, cleaning up your act and nurturing yourself. The house card is, there's some sort of communication involved that's dealing in your own. It, or it putting an end into a naivete. Uh, I became an um, and, and, and also, go to and also, <laughs> yes, and also refocusing your helpful things for stylus. Coming into, um, well, then all of a sudden coming to life with a little bit more deception, a little bit of trouble. Dealing with a friend who was, was some sort, was nurturing and was a good friend. Yeah, and you know, yep. Yeah. The little gift. The little gift was that more options were were opened up because of all this. Yeah. You had to cut out some sort of travel or some sort of movement. Um, it could have. No it yeah. could have even been getting rid of a residence or something. Um, there's some sort of getting rid of some sort of movement to travel or something. The garden card lines with the dog, which is. More, spending more time Would with really friends. Yes. <laughs> the abundance is uh, here. We have the tower card. It's like it's almost like because going doing, going yeah, back to school or. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it was it was a little bit yeah. difficult, yeah. but. But you had lots of support from friends and, and family. Yes. Family. Actually, some family gave you a little bit of shit over something during this time. Yep, they did. Here's <laughs> you, which is, you already knew what your path was going to be. Yep. <laughs> the child is under mice. Something about, something about child or children or, or the way you l used to look at things in the past sort of, it could have eaten away I at, yeah, naivety, yeah. Eating, eating away at what you needed, okay, um, the thing you had to end and get, well, this was a relation, this was a love relationship that yep. had to completely be end, mm -hmm. so that you can move forward, mm -hmm. the stork is moving forward and towards a different commitment, yes. some sort of different commitment, you had more options at this time, which is also more learning. Um, it can also be about revealing information. More information was revealed. The lily is about, well, this is, you know, the letter. You got some sort of, some sort of notification or something that, that led you to a more solid career foundation, I think. Mm -hmm. Some sort of letter notification, whip and broom. What you had to clean up was. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're still cleaning. Yes. Yeah. We're We're still cleaning up the mess. Yeah. Yeah. The, the man. The commitment was. To yourself. To your, to be yeah. yeah. To yourself. Yep. Was that card over there? It the is the woman. woman. I know. <laughs> the crossroads is the decision to make, which lands in the lily card. The crossroads, your decision led more towards. It's also making a decision towards your future based yeah, on future. what you want, not what someone else wants. Yeah. You found that what you learned <clears throat> through this entire process actually took you on a different direction, leading you to a better future than where you started. Uh -huh. The thing you're unsure about or was revealed was this is the this one's the moon card. Oh, I there are birds in it, but it's, it's the moon card. So it is revealing things you never thought you would do. Yeah. Um, the yep. key, the key in this entire thing is, is still it's about love, but in case it could be about self-love. Yeah. So the the big mess is it has something to do with abundance or money that 
It either might not turn out the way you want it to, financially. The thing that's unknown is where you're going to end up in the end. And the thing that eats it away is your sacrifice. So here, everything's going really well. Maybe it's going to be an abundance, but it's going to be kind of a messy road to get to it. Oh, it is. Oh, it is. <laughs> And, and yeah, I mean, there's there's some pieces still in play that we don't know. We don't know where the chips are going to fall on and this, several things. And this also, the mess is right beside the heart card. <laughs> That's a I don't, I don't it's, know. It's also right beside the unknown card. And the unknown is something eating away at something. So I would take these as, okay, here was a relationship that that had a problem. Actually, there was another person, woman involved. Yeah. It leads all the way down to you going in a different path, taking a different form of career path, moving on, cutting out the things that no longer serve you, becoming a better version of yourself. But there is, it can lead to, um, there's still some mess coming. Mm -hmm. And you have to be aware of that. It's something that could mess with your finances. Some mm -hmm. more things that could mess with your foundation it's unknown things and sacrifice with the with the mice can mean you may have a relapse of eating away at self-esteem no, self-esteem self yeah and stuff like that so yeah we're just waiting so we're waiting to see what his move is like i'm waiting to see what his move is well, if, you're, if this is based on another man's move, and you look at the first card and the last card, yeah. the no, man, the, the man is the problem that erodes away. <laughs> this makes this makes sense. Oh yeah, it makes total sense. How to read these? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 What it so that's the first yeah. part of your bullshit, and you clean it up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, and if you go this way, oh, here's where you are right here in the center. Some sort of communication is going to bring some sort of information into your life. Um, you're going to have to look at it. Let's just take the word child out of it. You're going to have to look at it through your blind. You look in the blind spot. There's a reason. And not be not be and not have your judgment clouded. And if you go the other way, and if this is about you, then every here it could be everything is past, and this is all future. So that's how you read the grand tableau. Hi, thank you. Yes, thank you. Yes, thank you so much. I mean, we went quickly. We went quickly. If you're sitting discussing each card with someone, each pairing, within a, this can take hours.